Hello, I am Debbie Ashenhurst, and I serve Governor DeWine and our state as the director for the Ohio Department of Veterans Services. As I reach out to our veterans and military families, I often have the privilege of getting to know Ohioans in their advanced years. Men and women who have served our great country honorably, and in many cases have gone on to other extraordinary accomplishments. We find that folks who answer the call to duty come from a world of selflessness and sacrifice. So it's really no surprise when they choose to continue to find ways to aid, protect, and advocate for others when they delve into their post-military lives. These older Americans inspire us with their energy, passion, drive, and random acts of kindness. ODVS honors former service members who have performed deeds of exceptionalism following their military service with recognition in the Ohio Veterans Hall of Fame. Each year, up to 20 veterans are inducted into the hall, the majority of them being 60 or older. Older Americans are wonderful teachers, coaches, mentors, entrepreneurs, public servants, community leaders, volunteers, and so much more. They tend to be involved in local organizations, church activities, and all types of community outreach. Fortunately, we live in a state where countless Ohioans of advanced age go above and beyond to make their community a better place. And when our aging citizens need our help and care, Ohioans come through again. Another joy of my job is to see caregivers at each of our Ohio veterans homes provide invaluable comfort, care, and safety to veterans who need it. These are dedicated giving people who believe in serving those who have served. We owe all of them a debt of gratitude, just as we owe that same love and appreciation to those who have worn the cloth of our nation. The Ohio Department of Veterans Services is proud to join forces with the Ohio Department of Aging in raising awareness about both the needs and exceptionalism of older Americans. Like our sister agency, we strive to provide valuable resources and services to them and their families. Older Americans are essential to the fabric of our state, and we see examples of that every single day. Remember, aging is everybody's business.